A practice alert at Iran's first tactical fighter base near Tehran. Four pilots, each of them trained in Texas, run for their American-built Phantom jets. Unlike the Army and the Navy, which are supplied by Britain and other countries as well, the Iranian Air Force is an American preserve. And behind these pilots is a backup force of thousands of American advisors and technicians. Iran has over 200 Phantoms, and on paper her air force is as well equipped and technically advanced as Britain's. These Phantoms are now being reinforced by brand new F-14s. The Shah has spent 10,000 million pounds on American weapons so far. Aircraft on fine line, make one touch and go. These fighters are aimed mainly at two fronts, the border with Russia and the border with Iraq. The Shah was nearly at war with Iraq three years ago, and his phantoms are often out on patrol over the Caspian Sea, way to the north of here, keeping an eye on the Russians. The Shah doesn't believe he could ever win a war with Russia, but these warplanes and his huge investment in tanks and ships gives him confidence that he could make any war expensive for an invader. But keeping modern warplanes flying is a highly complex business, and even here in the control tower you see the ever-present American advisor monitoring the training. All observers say that Iran will depend on this American backup for some time to come, just as the Iranian army and navy will depend on the British. But in building up his air force, the Shah hasn't had unqualified American support. President Carter refused to sell him the supermodern American F-18 aircraft because he thought there had to be a limit. The British government feels less inhibited about the Shah and has just agreed to supply his air force with 16 million pounds worth of cluster bombs. Britain believes the Shah means to use his weapons only in his own defence, and that this is in Britain's interest too. Peter Snow, News at 10, Iran.